What do you got? How are you? Good. How are you guys doing? You guys been in the shade all this time? Oh yeah. Huh? Yeah. We all don't last watch, so. How do you feel? I mean, in the game week, you got what you got. How do you feel about what you got? Yeah. Well, it's ten days away. You know, you get the countdown clock in the team meeting room, so every day you get a reminder. But I feel good because today we took a step forward. Uh, good challenge today. Get some good heat. It was uh, good to get outside when it was hot. But we took a step forward and did some little things, right? Little things like body language, little things like communicating better, little things like thudding better, uh, practice etiquette. So I thought it was a good day. You know, a couple days off, so they came back. I thought fresh. We're really into it. So I thought we took a step forward. When you guys talk about practice etiquette, and scout mm -hmm. team etiquette, can you just tell me what that means? Sure. Practice etiquette, uh, knowing the tempo of the particular drill. One drill might be tackle. Next drill you might go to thud, which means you just thud them from the front and you tag off from the side. So practice etiquette is being able to practice full speed and yet uh, Coach Jones maintains the tempo of that particular drill and be able to switch back and forth. Do you get to a point where it's just time to go play, but then they've got, they've got experience that they've got to get into that environment. How close are you to that point? Well, absolutely, and I think they're all ready to play a game, but I think as a coaching staff, we know we have 10 days. We're going to utilize those 10 days, and I think as players, too, uh, they know that now we're starting to put the game plan in, uh, focusing more on Utah State rather than just daily improvement. So, yeah, I think everybody's excited about the clock. Steve, at this point, how many guys do you feel comfortable saying to go out there and play right now? Well, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that number grows, uh, you know, inside. We're at five right now. I'd like to be a little deeper in there, and then outside we'll play at six. Talk about some of those you know, like mixing in there. Mm -hmm. you know, I know he's not the heaviest guy. Correct. What do you like about him in there? Where's Sawyer's at in the development? Well, someone like Mixon, I, again, we talk about playing to his strengths. His strengths is he's got, he can run. He's very athletic. So is he going to be able to sit in there and take on two, 300 pounders all the time? No. So I think that's a little bit of responsibility on us as coaches also to manage that and then continue his personal development. Everybody forgets Mixon's a freshman, you know, and he's, he's 280-something, so we'll just keep developing him and getting him to that point. What about Mike Sawyer? Mike Sawyer's work in progress. You know, I think typical that freshman. typical freshman. Got a long ways to go as far as understand what college football is all about, the total commitment of taking care of your body, three meals a day, getting enough sleep, uh, intensity every day. So, uh, you know, he's a work in progress. Would you, would you call Derek and Dwayne typical freshmen? I would not call Barnett a typical freshman. Uh, Barnett seems to weather things. He seems to have a maturity about him. Uh, he seems to be able to grind through. Uh, same with uh, Dwayne. I think he's, he's miles ahead of your typical freshman, so I'm really pleased with those two. Barnett a lot like how Corey Vereen was last year for you guys? He's a lot like that in that he's self-motivated, uh, doesn't need uh, somebody yelling at him all the time to motivate him. But probably the big difference is he's much more physical than Corey at this point. You know, Corey had to have a role last year of being a third down player. Or I, I see Barnett as an every damn player. Coach, I know you just got into game prep, but early mm -hmm. on, what do you see from Utah State and what's going to be some of the things you stress over the next 10 days for well, the defensive yeah. line? Yeah, well, obviously, uh, Chucky's movement ability at the quarterback spot. So, you know, when we talked about quarterback points for us, that's being able to effectively rush the quarterback and yet maintain your point on the quarterback so you can keep him in the pocket. Um, he can hurt you with his legs, so obviously that's a key point of emphasis right now. How comfortable are you with, how comfortable are you with where Majed is and not having gotten to do much lately? I mean, do you, I guess well, you know, I, I always feel good about Kurt because I think he's older, he's mature, he's a great leader. Uh, he has all the, the qualities. Obviously, I'd like to see him get a lot more practice, but you know, I, I feel we're still 10 days out and he's going to get plenty of work. Obviously, you guys put on the blue uniforms today. Does that mean necessarily that there was a, a guy running around imitating Chucky Keaton? Or are you guys not quite there yet? Oh, yeah. The blue shirts came out. I mean, it's scout team. So uh, certain periods we went to where it was strictly uh, Utah State prep. And then obviously, um, you always got to have them where Chucky's at.